Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 7.7, .7, Adding Mixed Numbers. Our essential question for tonight is how can you add mixed numbers with like denominators? We'll be focusing on those questions from our GoMath page for Lesson 7.7. .7. Now, as you turn to Lesson 7.7 .7 in your Go Math book, I want you to realize that we have already talked about this today in class if you were present in class. I wanted to make sure that we really understood this topic because it can be confusing to some kids. Therefore, if you already know how to do the adding with the renaming of your fractions, then this lesson will be very easy for you. But I do want you to do it along with me because we can check it together. I'm going to do a couple with you, and then what we're going to do is you can work on your own and check along with me. Now, looking at this question for number one, you can see that the answer was nine wholes and seven fifths. Now, we know that seven fifths is a fraction greater than one whole, so that means we're going to rename it as a mixed number to add to our nine wholes. So when you look at this improper fraction, also known as a fraction greater than one whole, you can see that it's seven fifths. And we know seven fifths is really one whole, which is five fifths, plus two fifths. Therefore, my nine can now turn into a 10 because I have one whole that I'm now going to rename my whole numbers. And then I have two-fifths remaining, and that's why we have ten and two-fifths. So let's look at number two. So on question two, I can see that I have four and a half plus two and a half. Remember, we learned in class today that our first thing we need to do is we need to add our fractions. So I have one half plus one half, and I know one half plus one half equals two halves also known as one whole, but we'll leave that right there for a second. Now let's add our whole numbers, four plus two is six. So if I have six wholes plus two halves, that really equals seven wholes. Because two halves equals one whole. One half, two halves equals a whole. Therefore, six wholes plus one more whole equals seven wholes. Let's go to number three now. Now on number three, I can see that when I add my two fractions, two-thirds plus two-thirds, I'm going to have the sum four-thirds. And I know that that's a fraction greater than one whole because it becomes a mixed number. But let's go ahead and add up our whole numbers now. Two plus three is five. So I have five wholes and four-thirds. I'm going to rename my four-thirds. Four-thirds is the same thing as saying three-thirds plus one-third, and that equals four-thirds. So I have one whole and one-third would equal four-thirds. So let's go ahead and combine my five along with this whole to be six wholes. And now I still have one-third left over. So five and four-thirds is the same thing as six and one-third. Let's do one more together, and then I'll let you do five through eight on your own, and we'll check those to see if you did them right. All right, let's go ahead and look at number four. You can see that I have four-fifths plus four-fifths would equal eight-fifths. That is a fraction greater than one whole, but let's go ahead and leave that alone for a second, and let's go ahead and add our whole numbers. I'm going to add six plus seven wholes equals 13 wholes. So I have 13 wholes plus eight-fifths. Well, I'm going to change my eight-fifths to be a fraction that shows a mixed number. So let's go ahead and take our eight-fifths, and I'm going to do eight-fifths would be the same thing as saying five-fifths, which is one whole, plus three-fifths would equal eight-fifths. Since I know that this is one whole, I'm going to add that to my 13. So now I really have 14 wholes along with three-fifths. So 13 and 8 fifths is the same thing to be renamed as 14 and 3 fifths. And because 3 fifths is already in simplest form, I'm already finished. All right, if you want to go ahead and pause this video so you can try number 5 on your own, then press play and we'll see if our answers match. Press pause now. 
Now for this one, I'm going to add my fraction first. You should have done 5, 6, and then you should have had your whole numbers to be 11. Now looking at this, do we need to rename anything? No, we don't because 5, 6 is already um, a correct fraction. It's not a fraction greater than one whole. So we don't need to rename it to make more wholes. So 11 and 5, 6 is finished. And I know 5, 6 is simplified because 5 and 6 are consecutive numbers. Let's go on to number 6. Okay, go ahead and press pause for number 6 and let's see how you do. Now, if you were to add 8 and 4 twelfths plus 3 and 6 twelfths, you would end up with 11 and 10 twelfths. However, I hope that you went ahead on your own without me telling you, and you realize that 10 twelfths can be simplified. If you simplified it correctly, you should have said the answer was 11 wholes and 5 six, because 10 divided by 2 is 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 5 and 6 are consecutive, therefore it is simplified. So 11 and 5, 6 is actually the final answer for number 6. Let's go on to number 7 now. Okay, on number 7, go ahead and press pause, and then we'll check that one together as well. Okay, for number 7, you should have added your fractions first, and you should have had 3 eighths plus 5 eighths is 8 eighths, and then you're going to add your whole numbers. 4 plus 1 is 5. I have 5 wholes and 8 eighths. Now, I know that 8 eighths is a whole number. Therefore, I'm going to rename this fraction, and I'm really going to turn it into 6, because 5 wholes plus 8 eighths is 1 whole, is going to equal six holes. Okay, it's time for you to try number eight all by yourself. Press pause and we will check it together. Okay, for this one, you're going to add your fraction first and then your whole numbers. When you add your fraction first, you, should, you will want to say five tenths plus three tenths is eight tenths. And then you're going to add your whole numbers. Nine plus six is 15. Now I know 8 tenths is already a regular fraction. That's not a number greater than one whole. But I do know 8 tenths can be simplified. So I want you to go ahead and simplify 8 tenths. We have 15 wholes and 8 tenths. If I want to simplify 8 tenths, I know my factors of 8 are 1, 8, 2, and 4. And my factors of 10 are 1, 10, 2, and 5. So the greatest common factor is 2. So we're going to divide 8 tenths by 2 halves, and you're going to get 4 fifths. Therefore, we will have 15 and 4 fifths as our final answer for this one. Now we're going to move on to the problem solving question down below. We're going to skip over the subtraction questions and that'll be tomorrow night's homework. So jump on down to question number 13 in your problem solving questions. It says James wants to send two gifts by mail. One package weighs two and three fourth pounds. The other package weighs one and three fourth pounds. What is the total weight of the packages? Well, I see this word total weight, and I know that means I need to add because we're looking for a larger number. So you need to put two and three fourths plus one and three fourths. Go ahead and pause the video, try this one on your own, and we'll check it together. All right, friends, for this one, you should have added your fraction part first. Three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths and my whole numbers will be three. I see that six fourths is an improper fraction, so I want to change my six fourths to be four fourths plus two fourths. I know four fourths is a whole, so I'm gonna add that one whole to my three holes, and now I have four holes. So I've used that up now, and I still have two fourths left over. So the answer is four and two fourths pounds also known as four and a half pounds. All right, we're not going to do question number 14 for problem solving tonight. That'll be tomorrow night's homework. But you will need to turn your paper over to the back side for our two homework questions tonight. Question number one and number two. 
Number one says Brad has two lengths of copper pipe to fit together. One has a length of two and five twelfths feet, and the other has a length of three and seven twelfths feet. How many feet of pipe does he have in all? And then our next question says a pattern calls for two and a quarter yards of material and one and one fourth yards of lining. How much total fabric is needed? Go ahead and answer those two questions for your homework and we will check those tomorrow in class. If you read right here, you do not need to go on to questions three through six. That will be for you tomorrow night for your tomorrow night's homework assignment. So tonight you only have to do one and two. All right, go ahead and solve those two. But please don't forget to assess yourself somewhere on this homework page. If you're a novice, put one. Apprentice, press two. Practitioner, please put down three. Or an expert, please put down four. Again, here are your two homework questions. Don't worry about doing three through six. Save those for tomorrow night. All right, have a great night, and I hope you feel like an expert. Bye.